something that a lot of players have been telling us, uh, whether it be at Media Day or just throughout fall camp, is that you know, they enjoyed how you guys have changed the process of approaching fall camp and spring. Of, you know, maybe at times, you know, in seasons past, you guys have still been you know, working on maybe installing some things, and you know, maybe now it's just kind of a point of getting comfortable with each other. I guess what's been the benefit of changing how you guys approach that? Uh, you know, I think we'll we'll find out. I think the biggest thing for us is just trying to uh, install and establish a foundation of offense that can last you the entirety of the season. Um, so, you know, we've been really focusing on the fundamentals and techniques and, um, you know, trying to make sure that uh, we have a, a enough things from a conceptual standpoint that will, uh, you know, give our kids an opportunity for uh, the variety of defenses that we might see. Being such a veteran, you know, not just offense, but a team in general, I mean, is that a benefit of knowing that you don't have to spend as much time, you know, running through things as you know, uh, you know, and I don't know if that's. Uh, I mean, I think we still we, we still have spent the time doing those things. I think maybe um, maybe you don't have to start back at uh, at square zero in terms of you know every nuance in terms of formation or motion and things like that. But um, I, th I certainly still think the time element really never changes. You still need to spend the time in terms of fundamentals and techniques. Obviously, having any experience is a good thing, uh, just because there's at least a familiarity with the with the system and how things are called and, and those type of things. But, uh, um, yeah, we're certainly just trying to, to make sure that we have a great understanding of what we're attempting to do. Joel, um, Joel Gordon and Brock Purdy yesterday brought up competitive endurance. What is that? Yeah, uh, you know, I think for for us, we're competitive endurance, I think, could be defined a lot of ways. We're just, you know, from our end, we're talking about, uh, you know, having the ability to compete with yourself and with your opponent for, um, a long period of time, and whether it's a day by day, you know, point of that, and I think you can kind of define the time. Uh, you know, uh, you can break it down into small, small days or hour by hour, but uh, just having the ability to focus and maintain and keep a uh, keep a clarity about what your objective is, um, and having a poise about yourself that you can do it and, and be able to last the long haul. How do you keep? How do you keep guys like? Like Hunter, like Jirel, how do you keep them? I don't know what the right word is. Motivated when technically they're playing behind two of the best. Well, they are. They're playing behind two of the best players on the team, and their their playing time could be very limited. Sure. Yeah, I understand. Uh, I think those two guys are probably a poor example because they're so competitive with yeah, themselves to be. Yeah. But but I I know what you're alluding to. Um, you know, I think, but those two young men, I think, uh, uh, have worked really, really hard. Um, and I think everybody has an understanding in football. Um, you know, we didn't expect Trevor Downing to go down week one. And then, you know, Joey Ramos to get hurt. And next thing you know, Daryl Simmons and, and Jake Rimsburg are playing. So I think that's a great example to be able to point to young men on, hey, it's really easy to say, hey, you never know. And you're going to get, you know, you might get an opportunity. But I think there's recent examples that probably uh, help those guys a little bit mentally. Um, but I think from our end of it is we really talk about uh, it, it's, man, where you're at today is not what's important. It's about how do we continue to try to get better to, number one, build the depth um, because we all know competition is going to breed success. Um, so I think that's something that we really try. It's, it's still about, and Coach Campbell talks about it all the time, is we're trying to be, become the best that we can be individually and as a team. And, and that's really the message to those guys is, you know, um, you know, maybe you're not starting right now, but you don't know. I know one of the attributes that Coach Campbell, you, you others like to bring up about players with maturity is they're the same guy every day. In what ways is Brock the same guy as he was when you, you know, came back here? Yeah, you know, I think uh, what's really unique about Brock for a, for a young man is that uh, Brock knows exactly who he is. Um, and uh, Brock has very strong conviction. And, you know, I think Brock prides himself in, in being a really good teammate and being prepared and doing the things that, that are required to be a great leader. Um, and, and to me, that is, you know, I think at, at that age, it's really rare to know exactly who you are, what your goals are, um, and what you're trying to do. And, uh, you know, so from him, I, I don't think that's ever really changed. I think from a, from a young guy, uh, it, that's one of the reasons why Brock has been a great leader for us is because 
he's very comfortable with who he is and what he believes in. Um, and I think it's really, I mean, it's commendable to have a, a young man, you know, really carrying, you know, the, the, the face of the program in a lot of ways as quarterback to, to be a guy with such great character and, uh, and, straight, and such great conviction. In what ways has he evolved, too, because you need that. You want the same bedrock principles, right, for a sure. guy, but also, for, for instance, he's always been really open with us about, I felt the weight of the world on my like, sure. you know, and that type of stuff. Is that part of it, the fact that he has that identity and he's constantly tweaking ways to... Yeah, and, and, and I think for Brock, experience certainly helps uh, with that, you know, uh, being able to go back into the past and say, here's how I felt, you know, at this time and here's why and, you know, what are some things that I can do to help, um, you know, alleviate some of that stress when it comes. And, but, I, you know, I think for the, the biggest thing for him is, you know, where he's made such tremendous growth is having a, a great understanding of what we're trying to accomplish um, just within terms of the, the, the schematic part of the offense, which I think has really opened probably a lot of other areas for him where he does feel really comfortable telling you, hey, this is something I really like, or man, I, here, here's maybe, you know, I think probably in years past, uh, in probably two years ago, you know, man, you maybe we weren't sure totally if he totally liked maybe something. And I think now he certainly feels comfortable with, I mean, maybe even it's just talking to a teammate, hey, I really liked the way you're, but could you, uh, you know, I had a hard time understanding where you're coming out of your break because of this, you know, and I think, uh, Certainly, experience uh, gives you gives you that perspective, but I also think the respect of your teammate um, and, and the respect of your coaches allow you to uh, allow a guy like Brock. Uh, you know, when he speaks, I know I listen, and I, and I know the guys on the team listen. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when I mention Colin Newell? Oh, uh, awesome. I mean, tough. Honestly, Iowa State. Um, you know, I mean, uh, Colin is like. Uh, you know, it's it's so unique and fitting that he's from here, and uh, you know, I mean, he has been like uh, such a consistent guy in every facet of our program, um, in terms of academically, socially, uh, the way he goes about the weight room, the way he goes about being on the football field. He's just uh, he's an incredible kid, you know, and uh, and that's a good one. I you know. What exactly do I think? A lot of things. I really, I mean, I have a great affection for that kid and the way that he's prepared and, and the way that he has really developed into a really good football player. How do you see that when you're recruiting him? I, you know, I, I don't really know. Uh, I, I think, I mean, you know, it's, it's, I, I think it's trying to put the odds in your favor and doing your research and background. And, um, you know, when Colin got here, we, you know, we were relatively new and probably didn't even really understand all of the dynamics that go into, man, you know, this kid grew up here as an Iowa State fan, and maybe coming, you know, being a new staff, man, maybe he really didn't understand what that really meant. Um, but I think when you recruit a call in high school, you find a kid that battled through injury and, you know, comes from an, uh, an incredible family with, with great parents. And, you know, you, you go into the, to the building in Ames High School and, you know, you talk to not only the teachers and the coaches, but, you know, you talk to some of the other people in the building and you hear about the way that he handles himself daily and you know so you you feel like man we probably got a really good idea who this young man is from a character standpoint and then to see him really you know uh flourish on that is has been really really fun for for all of us to watch and it's been really great to have him here who are some guys that have made the biggest strides from practice one until right now you know i, I i'll be honest with you i that's a really hard one i think it's probably not fair to single there's there's quite a bit of them. I think where we've been uh, excited is probably, you know, the development of some of the depth and a lot of guys battling to continue to push themselves up in that in that list and help us whether it's on special teams or on offense. But you know, I I think it probably wouldn't be fair. I'd probably be missing a couple of guys if I tried to name them all off the top of my head. Any certain maybe position group? No, and I think all of them. Like, and I think that's a big uh, a big point for us. Obviously, you know. Losing Dylan Sainer's thing, so we really needed to, to, to grow and get better at that position. And, you know, at the wide receiver position, there's a lot of young guys that are really pushing along. And, you know, obviously we talked about Hunter in the quarterback room and, you know, we talked about Jirel a little bit. So, I mean, it's really kind of everywhere in the offensive line, certainly, I think, is uh, that's a position where you always got to be ready to go. So our focus has been on, on how do we continue to get everybody better. Um, and I think, you know, 
we've been very excited about our intent and, and want to uh, and trying to get better every day with our young men. Something that both Coach Campbell and Coach Hales brought up is the growth in Tariq Milton. Are you seeing similar growth from him and what is he doing this year that he maybe wasn't a year ago? Yeah, I, I, I don't know if it's something that he's doing that he wasn't doing it because I, I don't want it to come off as, uh, man, Tariq is, he's done this 180 and he's not, Tariq has always been a really steady guy for us. Um, He's, he is uh, an incredible young guy. Uh, just, he has a, a tremendous story, uh, high character. I think w w with, with Tariq, you know, last year he battled through a lot of injury. Um, and I think that as an older guy, I think sometimes that is really difficult when you have played a lot of football and then all of a sudden football is taken away from you and you're trying to get back. Uh, but I, I think that we've really seen a great, um, I've really seen Tariq take a really great dive into, man, how do I become better? How do I put on another, uh, you know, coat of paint in, in the weight room and in, the, in training? And um, But I, I think mentally, you know, Tariq's a really intelligent football player. Uh, he's one of the guys that when, when he asks you a question after a play, there's a, there's a great reason for it. Uh, and he has a, a really good feel for, for what's really going on on the football field. And I think just even seeing him take maybe another step of focus has been really remarkable. Um, and uh, we've been really pleased with, with Tariq's growth. And, and he certainly has made a lot of plays here. And we're hoping that can continue because he's, he's an exceptional young person. That was interesting what you just said, asking questions after plays. Given the fact that these guys are, you've got eight super seniors, you've got, however many, you've got veterans at every position. Do they ask more questions after plays? Are they getting more analytical, more into it now? More yes, sir. What yeah, the heck's going on? which is a good, which is a really yeah. good sign. Um, and I think it's also a good sign that men, those guys are having a better understanding of the why that you're trying to do something, you know. And um, there's been a lot of guys certainly have done that for a long time, but I do. I feel like there is probably an increased dialogue between the players in terms of, okay, hey, here, do you think I was right in what I did here, or here's why I did that, you know? And I think when they can tell you why they did something. Um, you know, that's, that's certainly easier to make adjustments and change when there was a reason they did something. You know, um, a lot of times early on when, when guys are just doing stuff, it's hard to figure out what's going on. So they're asking more questions now than what they did when they Absolutely, were absolutely. Yeah. You know, and, and, and a lot of those guys that, you know, Chase Allen, right. uh, Charlie Kolar, those type of guys, you know, Xavier Hutchinson, you know, those guys are, uh, they're, they're asking questions that are sometimes really in, kind of inspiring a little bit of like, man, okay, that's a really good point. Maybe we should think about that, mm -hmm. you know? So, um, yeah, those guys are, those guys are awesome.